Good morning. I wanted to say hello and provide you with a little update about our Casa Jugar Los Angelitos family during this time. You know, it's hard to believe that Casa Jugar Los Angelitos has existed and been rescuing, caring for, and changing the lives of children for the past 25 years now. Those years have been filled with lots of challenges, and this year is no exception, bringing tremendous challenges for all of us as well, as the world seems to be facing a time of uncertainty and fear. However, Casa Jugar Los Angelitos has, even in the midst of adversity, seen tremendous blessings as the family continues to grow with more and more of our young people entering high school and even university. And we, seeing, we are seeing children's lives and futures change every day. Hundreds and hundreds of lives changed. Our educational, cultural, and event center became more of a reality this year, enabling us to hold our annual benefit with over 300 people there and to begin other classes and events. We're looking forward to this project, bringing additional sustain financial sustainability to the future of the Casa Hogar. Mexico is behind the U.S., but now Monsignor is full of the COVID virus. The hospitals are full and they're looking to the U.S. for ventilators. Casa Hogar children have been in quarantine since March, which presents a logistical and psychological challenge, especially for the teens. I ch our children no longer can attend school and our workers have to come daily and they've been trained by Dr. Bieber to follow strict sanitary and safety procedures, including how we pick up our food and delivery. The boys at Casa 2 and 3 can't come to Casa 1 during this time, so we have the same situation with internet classes and teachers going there and workers going there. It's an emotional and challenging time for them. Well, it's true that this has been a difficult time for us, for everyone. Our donations are down, but for me, just knowing that you, our supporters, are there and that you continue to pray for us, the workers and the children, gives me the courage and determination to keep moving forward. God said his work will be done, not by might nor power, but by my spirit. And I believe that this is his work. And I also embrace the promise of Jeremiah 33, 3, call unto me and I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. That is the faith that I hold fast to, and especially during times like this. I thought I might be able to lift your spirits as also it lifts my spirits to see some of the sweet faces of the children and watch some of their activities during this time. Artemio helped me put a little video together showing classes by internet, dance activity on the roof, physical therapy activity, and just the sweetness of living together as a family. You know, for me, these children are just amazing. They give me the determination and energy to go forward. I hope this will provide a little joy and inspiration for you. The singing in the background is the preschoolers, kindergartners, and primary children, and they're singing a song called, I may be ugly, but I know how to love with all my heart. Well, we know they're not ugly, they're beautiful, but for sure they know how to love with all their heart. I hope that you'll continue to pray for us and um, the workers and the people of Manzanillo. It may take a few minutes uh, for this video to upload, so be patient, but let us know if you're unable to open it at info at tcfcares.org. God bless you and keep you well and safe. And as they say in Mexico, te amo. Gracias por su apoyo. Gracias por quedar.